Hi, David Newman here of RX Mark Gear, and I'm here with the wonderful Maddie Curley. And we're here to talk to you about the three different styles of footlock techniques for rope climb. A lot of people weren't, aren't aware that there are actually three uh, very common footlock techniques, um, all utilizing different type of mechanics to lock those feet in and get up the rope. And we want to go over each of those with you. That way you can practice them, find out which one you like the best, and employ those techniques. So, Foot wrap number one is commonly called the S wrap or the Spanish wrap. And what you do is the rope comes down through the legs. You wrap your foot around the outside until it finishes draped over your shoelaces. The other foot is gonna come over the top and stomp down on top of your shoelaces. Now, with this foot wrap, you have the most amount of contact between the rope and your body and your skin. So that creates the most amount of friction. And then the stomp on top of the rope is that last compression to hang on and get a good foot lock, right? So now from there, Maddie will show you how she can just stand right up. She'll do one more pull, stomp right on top and up. Beautiful, right? So that's nice and solid. It's a very secure, go ahead and step back. It's a very secure method of a, of a foot lock. Um, probably the slowest one, most secure but slowest. So there's your trade off. Okay, now the second foot lock is called, commonly called a J wrap. I like to call it a fast rope technique. People call it a J-wrap because it puts the rope in a J-shape when you uh, employ it. So Maddie's gonna show, this is actually called the, the front approach. And basically what happens is the rope runs down along the front of the shin bone. She's gonna fish the rope up from the bottom, pull it up so that her feet are side by side. And so you can see where the J comes from. Now with her feet side by side, really what you're trying to do is just press your feet straight together, okay? Now this is employing better leverage, okay? Less friction, less contact with the body. So consequently, this is very fast, one of the fastest techniques, but I feel utilizes a lot more muscular input, right, to get up the rope, but very fast getting down as well. So it's very important that these feet stay pinched together. When you're ready to descend, it's simply a matter of splitting your feet apart, which reduces that bend in the rope and it'll let you slide down. Maddie's gonna show you on a couple of pulls there. Nice, come on down. Beautiful. All right, now the last one is also a J-wrap, but it's a rear entry approach, okay? And this is kind of the best of both worlds. I think of it as Goldilocks, right? This one is just right for me personally. And with this one, basically you're gonna let the rope wrap down around the back side of the leg right here. So you see previously Maddie had it coming around the front side. This time she's gonna wrap her leg around, let it come around the back of her calf. Now she's gonna pull the rope up the same way as the previous version. Again, creating that J loop, but now with the rope wrapping around the back side of her calf, she's created a little bit more contact with the rope, so there's more friction. She now has this nice J hook, which is employing good leverage. And it's the same thing, pressing those feet together, creating a nice pinch, okay? Now here's where I see a lot of people fail. I see a lot of people stop a little short and they just try and stomp down on the rope right here, like in the Spanish wrap or S wrap. That's the wrong way to go, it's not gonna hold you, you'll slide, okay? You gotta be patient, let your feet get in position side by side, right? Now the rope's running straight through and Maddie can do a couple of pulls. Beautiful, look how solid that is right there. So from there, Maddie can hang out and she can shake her arms out if her grip's getting tired. And she's got a nice solid foot lock right there. And when she wants to descend, she simply just turns her toes apart a little bit, create a little more space, and she'll start to slide her way down with control and then land right down on the box. Nice job. Now, the one thing you'll find out with that last method, okay, the J wrap, where the rope goes behind the rear entry is that you're gonna get a little more friction on the inner thigh, right? You have a little bit more contact, uh, body contact with the rope. So one of the pitfalls, but very secure. So those are the three methods. Hope you guys enjoy them. Thanks for watching. Get out there and elevate your fitness. Thanks, Maddie. You're welcome.